Hello and welcome to the catch up Reddit recap for the Dark Viper EU subreddit, my subreddit. That is the 5,574th highest subscribed subreddit with 92,000 subscribers. You should join and upvote the best stuff because sometimes the best stuff doesn't get upvoted enough. And for that reason, we have these catch up episodes where my mod, Lee Met Me, goes and looks through all the stuff that didn't get a lot of upvotes to find the good stuff that didn't get enough upvotes. And that's what we're looking at right now. Whippy Raid Goes Wrong. Yo, shout out to Dark Viper AU. Oh, I gotta get some cash out to fix this. The man that taught me that Michael is in fact in witness protection. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Whippy funny dude. He's one of the few role players that I uh, occasionally stop in the stream to watch. Not a huge fan of role play, fan of Whippy though. Dark Diaper is a robot confirms. Could it be that he's a robot? Nah. Beep boop. I'm gonna kill your children. <laughs> That's so dumb. Yes, I'm definitely a robot and I'm definitely coming to kill your children. Why do you call me Dark Diaper though? Why? A wish came true. What did it cost you? Nothing. What did he wish you? All the best. Like and subscribe, guys. I wish you all the best. I learned a lot from this Facts and Glitches episode. Stop abbreviating it that way! Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in my almost 8 hours of speedrunning the game, and from my awesome viewers. <laughs> Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel, it costs you nothing and I wish you um. all the best. That is what that episode would look like when I had that level of experience. We should still be fine. It's a red hand, but we should still be fine. <laughs> that was my reaction, yes. I gotta do another blue ball percent episode. That was fun. When you go upstairs behind a girl, this is lovely pavement. These tiles, where did they come from? <laughs> Can I get some? I get it, because you're trying not to look at her ass. Wait, I explained the joke. Doesn't that make the joke worse? I just had nothing else to say. It was funny. Maso couldn't do it, so I did it for him. This is so scuffed. Bitch. <laughs> yes, that is really scuffed. And it's probably the closest I'm going to get to ever fulfilling my dream of calling a cougar in real life a bitch. But it'd be for a great YouTube video, though. Would it? By the time I got around to doing it, there'd be like 10 people who remember the meme, and they're like, oh yeah, you, d you did something with Cougar at one point. So like, new, pe new people should be confused, like, why is this random guy with a beard calling a Cougar a bitch? I did what you asked, Matto. Stunt jump time! Nailed it. Please edit that to be a success. <laughs> it's- <laughs> You put it at the end, and it still said failed on the screen! Runs dead. Me, can I have a runs dead? Mum, we have a runs dead at home. Runs dead at home. That is most unfortunate, and uh, it's about as long a time loss as that possibly can be. I can't really continue. <laughs> and you can understand why I say runs dead. It takes far less time. Because I'm a speedrunner. I'm trying to save time, even with my catchphrases. Meanwhile, in a parallel universe, Oh no, I seem to have failed. Dang. I didn't always yell a lot when I died. Just the times when it really, really was painful. Latest episode of Facts and Glitches. Trevor at O'Neill's house. Gas in a meth lab? You're gonna burn, you idiots. Also Trevor's meth lab. <laughs> this is from quite a while ago. I spent a lot of time on this, so I probably won't get a lot of upvotes. Flashing lights. Well, they weren't wrong. You disingenuous, dense motherfucker. I get 
How is it getting more crazy as it goes along? Obviously, <laughs> every frame of that was horrifying. That was really amazing. My my new dream is to be in a club somewhere and have this play and have everyone be really confused. The problem with that dream is I never go to clubs, but I will go to clubs just for the odd chance of this being played. Thank you so much for making that. It is a crime that only got 23 upvotes, but I guess people were just really horrified to some degree understandable. Matto every month. You really Truly, you're awful. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. I can't say it enough. I will say it again. Awful. Awful. But then after that, I would say, but thank you. <laughs> Someone's probably done this, but here. That's my bar. He copy my whole flow. That kiss me through the phone. He copy my whole Flow. Oh, word for word, shit. bar for bar. Oh, Don't act like he doesn't own it. I was, uh, I was doing my own thing with it. All right. When will you learn Matto? When I was very young, I was riding my bike really, 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 really fast around a perfectly circular oval. And I looked behind me and then I looked forward and, uh, I went straight into a park bench and split open my knee. <laughs> <laughs> no. I never made that connection, but that is basically how it went, yeah. <laughs> Those who do not learn from their past mistakes are doomed to repeat them, I guess. Witness protection for what in Ace Attorney? Objection! Witness protection for what? No one was convicted of anything. That Brad was dead, Michael is apparently dead, according to the FIB, and Trevor runs away. Why would Michael be in witness protection? It's very good, very appropriate. I've never played Ace Attorney, but I've seen enough clips from it to understand what's going on. Thank you. Sometimes impacts are relatively obvious. Vehicles explode on impacts. That is a train that it will not impact. That it will not impact. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. I say things like that specifically so if it happens, it's funnier. There's no downside to me saying it. Can I say it, it doesn't happen? Who cares? It doesn't make it in the YouTube video. But if I say it and it happens, then it's funny. Now you know. You know how the sausage is made now. GTA Guesser be like. GTA Guesser Shadow gets. GTA Guesser Matto gets. It is true! It is true! This is the most true post that has ever been done on the subreddit. The Eiffel Tower is in, in Paris, right? Was it? Is Paris in Italy? No? Rome? France? France, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, chat. Somewhat. When your food is really tasty. <laughs> yes, I make weird sounds. Thank you. What I was expecting from this ramble. What I once carved on my tombstone. Who the fuck shot me?! If I do get shot, I will do my best for you, chat, to scream that as I'm shot, okay? Just in the odd chance that I die, 
it can be li listed as my last words. It do be feeling like this. When you kill a Meriwether Mercery, when you kill a doggo. True fact of the internet, people hate it when you kill animals, but they're totally cool if you kill people. It's almost like people like animals more than people. It's the best way to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna post this somewhere, um, like in a community post and see what people say. It's a, this is a really great edit. It actually looks real. Everyday Viper Guy. I'm just a regular everyday Dense motherfucker. You win the first song, I'll tell you in another. I'm just a regular everyday Dense motherfucker. Don't have a girlfriend, my sure. only lover. I'm just a regular <laughs> everyday Dense motherfucker. Uh -huh. One night a week, my sure. likes to cook me supper. I'm just a regular everyday Dense motherfucker. Uh -huh. Keaton was my favorite Batman. Honestly, on some level, I would love just to write a song like this, but actually just <laughs> say dense motherfucker. Could I write that? Do I have the talent to do that? Ah, I'd take too much effort. Good idea though, thank you. Matto San Andreas styled loading screen. <laughs> That's great. I look so angry. I need to wear the rand jacket more so people have more images of me. This bridge looks like it's from GTA 5. I, I guess it's a bridge from San Andreas though. A Matto loading screen. I spent quite a bit of time on this, so I'm hoping to get on March's Reddit recap. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's got the McDonald's $702. Thank you so much, dude. You even got the different color of my shorts because most of my shorts are older than my tank tops. So they're out in the sun when they were drying and so they would uh, fade. Disingenuous, dense motherfucker, but I animated it in Animate CC. You disingenuous, dense motherfucker. Obviously you have to know something about something or you couldn't tie your shoes. I feel like this meme, like it was at its peak, then it went, it was overused, and now it's come back because it's like nostalgic for me now. Am I Reddit recap worthy now, chat? Oh, nice. Thank you. Set them orange. God damn it. Oh, okay. You actually did it, not orange one. God. It is how it is. Me trying to be the first to comment Davy on any post even slightly related to the blimp observatory or an act of jumping out of a flying vehicle. <laughs> I mean, you are guaranteed to get upvotes, really. It's all about subverting viewers' expectations and enjoying simple things in life. Regular ass elevator. Is this really a fucking working elevator? That's amazing. Visible interest, amusement, clear signs of love and affection. A fucking tornado? Completely unamused, uninterested. I mean, it's just a game, man. It's cool and all, but absolutely would rather ride that elevator at that moment. No one's gonna get this. But the joke was, the elevator doesn't work in single player GTA 5. And so I was like, oh my god, a working elevator, that's crazy! And this tornado, I was like, this tornado ain't doing anything for me, it's like in the background, who fuck cares? You know? Finish the Oko death chart, congrats to Dark Fiber AU on finishing the challenge before I finished the charts. Really enjoyed the series. Wow! Strategies were pretty consistent after episode 14 for most missions. As early as episode 15, the run was completed with only two deaths. Starting with episode 18, a single death ended the run. Record run with a death in the final gunfight, episode 32. This was like, I think, two or three days after Unnamed finished his run. Could have ended there, chat. Simeon is the most deadly character, ending six runs by himself for fourth place. Nervous run and dead men walking tie for second with seven run ending each. Minor turbulence ended the most runs. Fucking minor turbulence, dude. For the longest time, it seems so free. The hillbillies beat the tank three times. Rocco got two kills in early runs. Matto killed himself twice trying to beat Rocco safely up there. God damn, dude. Remember kids, taxis and motorcycles are dangerous. And so I died to them twice at the end there. Interesting. Well, thank you for all this data. I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of upvotes, but uh, it's nice reliving those old times because to some degree I do miss it. I'm happy it's over, but it's just nice having that consistent thing I could do every single day and I hope I can get back to it with speedrunning. Rockstar after releasing the mess that is the GT Trilogy Definitive Edition. That's what you get for expecting me to do the job for which I am paid. <laughs> it's a good line. Sims Hit and Run also, great game. Loved that playthrough. It's on my YouTube channel, you should go watch it. Young Viper EU. Oh, sick. I look somewhat Asian. I'm just gonna say it. Is that is that weird to say? I look like an anime character. That's what I'm saying. Facts and glitches you totally didn't know. Mm. 
Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase the things that I've learned about GTA 5 in my over 72 gajillion billion hours playing the game and for my awesome viewers. I'm just kidding, I don't have any viewers. Everybody hates me. Did you know that if you equip a gun, walk up to a random person, and shoot them in the face, that they will die? That fucking showed you! Furthermore, if you actually end up getting shot yourself, you'll end up taking damage. The more damage you take, the lower your health will become, and eventually, you'll end up dying. No way! <laughs> but don't worry, you're not permanently dead. You'll just end up respawning at the nearest hospital. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no In the way. mission, the jewel store job, you rob a jewel store. It's a good name for it then. I'm here. Keep driving. <laughs> hmm. It just keeps going. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. We're back in action. If you walk up close to a car and press F, you will get in the car. Will you now? While in the car, if you hold W, you will go forward, and if you hold S, you will go backwards. And He's not wrong. while holding W or S, if you hold A or D, you will turn either left or right. If you crash your car, there will be noticeable physical damage done to it. I, this is probably what the videos were like when GT5 first released. But if released. you crash your car, don't worry. There are multiple locations on the map called Los Santos Customs where you can go to fix and customize your vehicle. Did you know that Michael is actually in witness protection? Yeah. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing, and I wish you all the best. <laughs> <laughs> Completely indistinguishable from a normal episode of Facts and Glitches. Very good, man. Dark Fiber AU Evolution. Dark Fiber AU today. Yes, I bought a $7 bill in reference to Trevor's dialogue in GTA 5. Dark Fiber AU tomorrow. Yes, I bought a semi-automatic pistol in reference to Franklin's first encounter with Michael. Why? Dark Fiber AU next month. Yes, I burned down a ranch from a farm nearby in honor <laughs> for the Crystal Mage mission. Dark Fiber in 2022. Yes, I'm planning to throw a fucking plane at the Griffith Observatory in reference to Dave's meme. Ha ha. The natural progression. Well, I'm in 2022, so I might be a little bit behind on uh, doing some of these things, but I'll get right on that. Drew a Chad Viper AU. Hey, it's always with the orange. I want the orange version. Thank you. If only I had a jawline that chiseled. Lego Viper AU. I was about to say, we've had a lot of Lego versions, but this is actually drawn. That's very cool. Thank you so much. The Battle of the Pacifists. Also, sorry for the dog shit editing. Dark Viper AU. <laughs> this town isn't big enough for two. Pacifist. Oh, you're a pacifist. Oh, right. Just not a super. What the fuck? Yeah? What's the difference? Presentation! <laughs> this is awful. Oh my god. I never needed to see this. And this was an interesting edit. That was very funny. Thank you. After watching Matto play Bully. Who would win? Jimmy on a skateboard? Some stairs. I didn't hit stairs that much. If you ignore, like, the 50 times I hit stairs. POV. Matto playing Saints Row. Oh! They're saying I'm inaccurate as shit. I don't remember being that inaccurate. Was I? Guess we'll see when the footage comes out. 
the truth. This is it. Moment of truth. Oh, as if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. Bread? Who? Who the fuck is bread? Grief a meadow. Artist me. I have become the thing I hate most. Guess me and grief a Jesus did some sort of fusion dance? Remember this guy? That one bike rental guy in Days of the Girl waiting for Michael and Chisel to return the bikes. Honestly, I always assumed that it was some service where you could ride up there and leave the bikes there, but it's not like Michael and Jimmy left them in specific spots or some shit. So what I'm saying is they probably just fucked that guy over. But he does steal from you like hundreds of dollars if you saw in facts and glitches, so fuck that guy. Fan art of the man who's got more than 8,500 hours of speed running the game. Oh, that's great. You know what this looks like? The guy from Invincible, what's his name? Omni-Man. You can see it, right? I figured out all the chords to Grief of Jesus' song, so Matto can sing karaoke to it. Oh, no. I don't know the lyrics well enough. Oh. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. I thought I had an out by claiming ignorance. <laughs> he just puts the lyrics on screen. <laughs> Shit edit, but funny. Maso, can you high-five the camera so we can high-five you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Shit edit, but funny. No, mummy, why? Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Hello? <laughs> That's not what I expected. <laughs> no more deep fried. Matto is playing chaos casually. Chatto? chooses deep fried meanwhile chatter got him <laughs> you blind yourself as well as blinding me i have taken deep fried out of chaos now if you haven't noticed it's a no damage run michael what don't you understand about that michael during fresh meat watching franklin teleport out of thin air and place c4 all over the facility so he won't take any damage <laughs> it would be funny if we one day get to a point where like npcs in games do actually acknowledge what you're doing to that degree. Michael, what the hell, man? Did you just fall out of a blimp? Are you okay? Chato controls Matto IRL. Hello and welcome to Season 4, Episode 1 of Twitch Controls Chaos. The biggest difference is being that I'm now watching all the cutscenes and uh, Chad is now on screen with the numbers. Comedy, all <laughs> the time you complained about my old headset. I finally get a new headset and you still complain. <laughs> I don't have that many clothes, so you randomize, you get basically the same thing every time. Basically what I'm saying is they were lucky to get something that wasn't a, bl a different black tank top and a different pair of black shorts. Is this guy Matto? I found him. Oh my god, guys, I found a guy that looks like Matto. <laughs> yeah, that do be how it is. I am a very generic looking dude. This post was made by the Dark Viper Lewd Gang. Society if D Viper Lewd Mug existed. Oh my god, it's still not there yet. It is being worked on. When was this post made? Three months ago, and it's still not there. All my emotes will eventually be there. Trust. In the meantime, though, you could buy different mugs. The Matto picture, but in Lego form plus drunk version. I'm getting arrested? Oh, there's Jesus in the background. <laughs> Jesus told on me, and that's why I'm getting arrested. Matto gets bullied by Gary. What? 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 See? Half my charm. How pacifist should have ended. 
So the rules are, I can't personally kill anyone. Give it up! I got him! I saw your face, I'll remember you! Sadly, we rack up our first kill not two minutes into the game because this guy wanted to be a hero. There is no way to avoid killing him. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Basically, somewhere out there, there is a dude who before me did pass for GTA 5 as an April Fool's joke. As in, like, he's got like 10 subscribers or something. And he's like, hey guys, I'm doing GTA 5, but uh, the, the, I can't kill anyone. And if I do, it ends. And then he kills the guy. He's like, well, I guess that's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Secret Santa, but it's Chaos Mod. Santa! <laughs> no witnesses? <laughs> what?! I have no fucking idea why I fail. No fucking idea. It makes it even funnier, because it like implies that I'm the one controlling the girl, and I would then retry, and again walk down the stairs, and have to now beat Santa before he shoots me. <laughs> I do like that concept. Rockstar put that in GTA 6. Wide doggo. <laughs> yes, he very wide. Ah, uh, thank you. No! <laughs> she's falling off the building! <laughs> I mean, she's been dancing up there for a long time. Where are her parents? Who are her parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. Every five minutes in Rainbow Miser. Babe, please stop trying to take off a plane in a narrow street. Just one more try, chat, I can do this. I succeed 100% of the time if you ignore my failures. I can't ignore that kind of success rate. If only. Shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. It's coming, guys. It's coming. It'll be there one day. You wake up and it'll be like Christmas. Because it might take until Christmas. Enjoy this me and my maid while waiting in my car. Please be gentle, it's my first time. Claiming Michael is in witness protection, saying literally anything about Red Dead Redemption 2, Matto having to go on a three hour ranting spree. Those days are behind me, chat. People have every right to be wrong. Twitch chat in a nutshell. Thank you. It's funny, because when I did an episode of Chaos where the chat was turned off, the YouTube comments were like, I miss the chat, man. I want to see people spamming rigs and hello and... <laughs> the Twitch chat spamming random shit like that is what makes Chaos what it is. How dare you disrespect. And so that's it for this catch-up episode. There will, of course, be another one for the other 75 missed submissions. There's even some from before the Reddit recap was even a thing, which will probably be good to look at, but that will be for next episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Be sure to subscribe and continue to boost my subreddit and uh, upvote the good stuff. And I wish you all the best.